Hi, you guys. It is your girl, Eternal Film, and I'm back with another reading for the sign of Aquarius, summarizing Venus North Node or any of the heavy placements in your chart. Please be sure to like this video if it resonates. Comment down below if you felt that vibe and subscribe. And if the reading don't resonate today, maybe next time. Welcome back to the channel, you guys, and welcome to those of you who are new. Let's see what Spirit has for you. Poor message for the sign of Aquarius, Holy Spirit. You got the three of cups. Okay, okay. Starting off good. Starting off good. All right. Nine of swords in reverse. You got it. You got this in the bag. Don't worry. We got the five of coins here. And we got the world. Okay. Six of wands. Let me explain. All right, Aquarius. I definitely see some somebody getting some good news here. It's going to put all your worries. Maybe y'all money drying up. Money getting low. But that, that success about to hit you. Okay, you're about to achieve something here, accomplish something. You're going to get a success here, a reward, uh, a yes, an approval, a start date, whatever the case is. I see you getting it here. Y'all like, oh, finally, you celebrating, you happy, drinks on me type of vibe. You know what I'm saying? After all of this worrying, this is going to finally put your mind at ease, especially if this has anything to do with your finances or your some a goal you were trying to achieve. Maybe you guys are wondering, did I pass? Yes, it looks like with the Six of Wands, you may have got a victory here. Uh, yeah, I see your start date or I see you starting something new, moving on to the next task or the next phase. This is going to really boost your confidence here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at you guys really celebrating. You're happy. I see you really pouring into yourself, pouring into your pouring into others at this time. I really feel like it's really going to. Yeah, some of you guys are definitely going to be taking some time out to really, like, love on yourself. Or you're really going to be proud of yourself. I'm getting that. Some of you guys are accomplishing something or overcoming something. Or you're finally going to be uh, something that you were working towards. That's finally going to be checked off your list. Maybe you guys are working through, like, your goals. Or you're working through, like, a vision board or something. You're like, you know, I, I really want to get this off my list or something. Short-term goals, long-term goals. I see you accomplishing either a short term, could be a long term goal with the world here. Others of you guys, it's like a short term goal that you're going to accomplish here. You got the Page of Swords, um, which definitely could be your energy, but it could be somebody else around you who's watching you. But others of you guys, it could be your energy, you could be in your head a lot. You kind of overanalyze or overthink a lot of things. So you kind of think the worst out of situations before they happen. Or this is what you're trying not to do. You're trying to have faith or you're trying to be hopeful. Um, but you may you may have the tendency of overthinking everything. Even if you even if you get this good news, you probably think it's like too good to be true. Or like you could be one of those people. Where it's like, ah, I'll wait until I start before I get too happy or some shit. It's giving that vibe. It's giving that vibe. Like I won't be happy until... I'm working or I'm I'm actually at the start day or something like that. Like you could probably be one of those overthinkers. It's like you got something in the bag. It's supposed to happen this day or you're supposed to receive it this day, but you still like until it's in your hands or something like that, you don't you don't trust it or something. Yeah, I told you just gonna boost your confidence, honey. You're gonna feel like you can accomplish anything. You're gonna feel like you have more power back over your circumstances, especially if you felt like you were powerless or like something. It's like it's almost like you felt like you couldn't fix an issue or um of course like if this is like any struggling, it's gonna have an effect on your self-esteem. Um or even just your uh your in a, your ability to control or um, tackle issues at hand. So maybe you're just somebody who's very self-sufficient. Uh, and as far as like you, you're very confident or you're very driven, I'm definitely getting that this is really going to put you back in a place of leadership and you're going to really feel like you have more control. I feel like with this, we got this Ace of Wands here in reverse. I feel like that's coming to an end here. 
there's something here that you may be closing out, closing out a cycle, deciding that you're going to put this situation to rest. Especially if you accomplish something that you've always wanted to accomplish, you, you've got a major success from it. I see you're like, you know what, you know, I'm going to go ahead and lay whatever this situation is to rest because I have this new thing that I'm doing or I finally accomplished something and now it's time to move on from this. So I don't know what this is. You may end up stop doing something completely focusing on some. Somebody here could be getting their doctorate or something like that. Somebody could have graduated or is going back to school. Or somebody has uh, moved on from something and they're going to take their career or a different career path or something like that. What's this? Yeah, it's a coin. Somebody may be taking a new, a new career path or something, or somebody here is doing something new here, or something that they've been doing, but they're they're stopping something else, and they're taking a more serious approach to something. It looks like, which I feel like both are serious. The, page, the Ace of Wands is usually something you're passionate about, something that maybe a talent, a gift, or something of that nature that you really loved investing in. But some of you guys. I don't know if you're closing out that cycle here and you're going more into like a career path as far as like maybe somebody, like I said, is getting their doctorate or going back to school or something like that. Or somebody is graduating and they're they're taking a different career path or something. Yeah, so somebody here is making a lot of changes. Yeah, justice is really coming in for you. Some of you guys, you made your mind up and that's why it's bringing in a lot of justice for you. You're really like deciding what it is that you want to do with your life. And it's going to bring justice because I feel like maybe that's what you guys were dealing with in the past, indecisiveness. But now you're deciding to invest your time, your energy into something that's going to bring a lot of justice for you because it looks like it's a part of your purpose. Yeah, you guys are going to realize you have a lot of options here. You know, I saw that Ten of Coins in reverse at the beginning of the reading and the Four of Wands in reverse. Okay, so... I don't know what energy this is. This could be like a major loss or a financial loss that could have caused homelessness or a struggle. What's this? But I feel like, yeah, you have the Ace of Swords here in reverse. What's this? The Chariot in reverse. There's a lack of clarity on something. Four of Cups in reverse and the Page of Coins. There's a lack of clarity on the situation here. I feel like with this Four of Cups in reverse, I kind of feel like, you know how people be like, I told you so. Yeah. You know, people be like, I told you so, or I told you that this was going to be best for you, or I told you you were going to. So maybe these are people who didn't support you. I just feel like they were lacking clarity when it came to your direction or your approach, especially if it's something that's unfamiliar to them. They've never seen this side of you or something like that, or they never really seen you complete something. So you completing this thing is a really big deal for you. But I definitely feel like you have people around you who maybe they seen you working on this a long time ago, but they didn't know it was going to turn into something successful. I just kind of feel like some of y'all was working behind the scenes and you could have had people who were like disappointed in you. I don't know. I kind of feel like some people gave up on you, of course. But who cares? I'm not going to put all the focus or energy into that. Like, people may not be happy for you like you're happy for yourself. Please protect your peace. Even if it's a small win, a big win, just protect it, okay? Don't let people make you feel some type of way because you're not. You, you could be sharing this news with these people. I would protect my peace. Yeah, because... With the King of Cups in reverse and the Three of Swords, somebody could be even be like hurting or heartbroken. These are people that you may have abandoned, okay? They really were confused. They didn't really know, you know, you were working on things or you were bettering yourself. But I'm getting, it's kind of weird because I see somebody who's hella driven, very driven. 
you probably were passionate at the time, chasing your dreams or chasing your passions. So you really didn't know what you wanted to do with your life at the time. You were trying to figure your shit out. And I feel like whatever energies these are, it's like they judged you the whole time. It's different if you were sitting on a couch letting your life waste away. Like, that's one thing. But it looks like somebody here was actively working towards something. But I guess they didn't see it as valuable. I guess they didn't see it as valuable or something like that. Yeah, and I feel like with the Ten of Wands, these people may put a lot of pressure on you or they placed a lot of burdens or a lot of expectations on you. And that could have put more stress on you. People are realizing, yeah, some of y'all could have just, yeah, because look at that, 10, 10. Like you probably cut all these people off or cut a lot of people off because they put all of these expectations on you. And some of y'all, these people weren't even holding themselves to these standards. So yeah, I, I just, y'all probably dealt with the problem. Um, It just keeps wanting to go over there. Yeah, they didn't value you or they didn't value what you were doing with your life. So I don't feel like I don't feel like these people matter yet. Of course, I would just protect my peace, protect my happiness. If that's what you're already doing, it's good for you. You could be celebrating. I wouldn't celebrate or share this news with these people because even if you are accomplishing things and making progress in your life, they don't value you and they don't respect you either. Yeah, because I feel like with the Seven of Swords here in reverse, What's the seven of swords, Holy Spirit? The star. Yeah, some of y'all, it flew right over there. Spirit be knowing what they're doing. Yeah, with the star. I feel like you're trying to heal the situation. I don't know if you're trying to make amends or you think that if you heal yourself or heal your circumstances or heal your, your lineage or something like that, that's going to change these people's perspective or change these people or heal these people or help them. No, it's not. I feel like if, if your plan is to be a healer, a teacher, a, um, uh, maybe somebody here definitely could be a doctor or going to get their nursing or somebody works in the medical field here. I feel like if, if that's what your plan is to do, do that. I definitely see you breaking generational cycles here in your life. I definitely see you breaking the chains of poverty in your life. I definitely see that for whoever I'm picking up for. There's something you're going to do. You're going to go a lot further in your life than you expected. Maybe you guys really were just trying to, you know, figure out what it is that you want to do. Now you're doing it and you're going to go really far. Okay. You're going to be very successful. All right. And you're going to break the chains of poverty. But I feel like you may be dealing with people from your past or family members or exes, whoever these people are to you, who, um... They're disrespectful. They may, like, this is like you doing something, finally finishing something. Well, it took you long enough. Like, you're dealing with one of them, okay? It doesn't matter. There is no age limit on anything, okay? I feel like it's, what's happening here is that you're never too old to live a new dream. And that's just, just what this is. These people put expectations or limitations or something on you, and you broke free of that. And, and now they're trying to say like, oh, uh, it took long enough or, oh, well, I mean, congratulations. But it's like very backhanded compliments. Like it's not going to be a sincere because they never, they kind of lost faith in you. They're like, well, I don't believe that shit. And then when you finally do it, they're going to be like, oh, okay, well, it took you long enough. So yeah, not of wands. I just definitely feel like a lot of you guys are on a journey. It's been a journey. And you've allowed yourself to live your life and understand that this is a journey. You're going to have moments where you feel like you have it all figured out. And then you're going to have moments where you don't know what the hell you're doing. But that is all a part of the journey. And, and people need to realize this is a life. Life cannot be limited. Because I feel like when you have those limitations, those be the most miserable people in the world. They have to do it like this, like this, like this. My family did it. My father did it. My mother did it. I have to do it like this. And if it's not like this, then it's not, a, we don't approve it. They be, they be the most miserable people. Not everybody, but they be the most miserable people. They be the ones who shadow over the whole family and nitpick at everybody because they're not happy with their own life or their own choices. They didn't live for themselves. They lived for everybody else. And you're living for yourself, you've lived, you've learned, and then you've probably failed and picked yourself back up. You probably faced many failures, but you probably also faced many successes. They only want to focus on your failures, and that's what the problem is. I 
of course, people are going to talk about the doers. And that's what I feel like. I feel like you're a doer, Aquarius. That's why I said the King of Wands is here. You're not just a talker. You're a doer. Okay? And you got people here who have put a perimeter around themselves. And now they're talking about you because you're outside of the perimeter. You're, you're freaking going further with your life. You're doing more with your life. And that's why I feel like what they don't even hold themselves to the same accord. Because I feel like they put all of these expectations on you. But you're doing it. You're going further. Further than they've ever been. You're doing things that they've never done. But yet they, they, they want all these expectations for you that they don't even hold themselves accountable for. I just feel like it's a bunch of people amongst each other who talk about everybody else. But they are they themselves are standing still. They may not realize that because it's like giving that bird in a cage vibes where... There's a bunch of people in a cage talking amongst each other, gossiping, hating, whatever the case is. They don't even realize the cage been open. They don't have to stay stuck, but they are. Yeah, it's a poverty-stricken mentality or a lack mentality or it's a curse. They think the perimeter or the gate is like a gateway to uh, hell or something. Or they think that that gate, that door being open is like because it's the unknown. Like they say, stay away from the gate. Last person who left never came back. Not realizing that that's the, the, the gate, the doorway to their freedom. So yeah, if a bird never came back, it's because the bird don't want to be caged. All right, yeah, page of wands. I feel like you're doing something new though. Yeah, so magician here is in reverse. Um, some of you guys may feel like you don't have all the tools that you need or what's this? I'm also getting as well. Do not waste your time trying to defend yourself or stand up to these people. Um, I feel like with the sun in reverse, this is pride. But if something is not illuminated to you, Aquarius, do not be intimidated by it. What's this? Yeah, I, I, some of y'all probably going to stop investing here in someone or something, it's a waste of time or this is what you feel. It's a waste of time, it's a waste of money. Um, yeah, 10 of swords are gonna end something abruptly. It could definitely be with these people. Um, yeah, cause this is ridiculous. I just feel like you're living your life. And you're probably very curious you know you of course being an Aquarius you're probably rebellious you know people will tell you play don't do it don't 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 and you do it anyway just to figure out if it works for you or not some of y'all you've succeeded some of y'all you failed and that's what it is they don't want to talk about the times that you succeeded they're only talking about the times you failed so that clearly shows you what they what they think of you they look at you as a failure And if you do succeed, they give you backhand compliments like, well, anybody could have did that or, well, I mean, that's cool, I guess. Like, it's whack. Okay. Yeah, it says communication, great parent. Some of you guys are going to be getting a letter here, some sort of communication. This could even be your child getting accepted into a college or something like that. Yes, karma. Yeah, you guys got some good karma coming in here for yourselves. Yep, because you are in your purpose. Some of y'all changed your identity. You you did a whole 360. Maybe you changed your life, bettered yourself, got your shit together. Yeah, I'm getting that. You're going to be breaking the chains of poverty, it looks like here. Maybe you came from a place where that's for somebody in particular. You're going to be breaking the chains of poverty. Some of y'all, you could have came from wealth, but you got it out the mud. You lived your life. You explored. Maybe your family disowned you because of that. But now you, you're getting your life together. You're finding your path. You're finding your purpose. You found your purpose. You see what you're good at. And you're going to take action on it. So you're going to get your good karma here. Some of you guys, you ended up becoming a parent and that took you down a new direction. And that could have been why they felt how they felt about you. Maybe they feel like you did things backwards. But the one thing I've learned about life is that you could start one way and still finish the same. So, you know, we have choices. And I would say there's two paths. You have choices. God knows the, 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 the choice. They, they know the ending, end all, be all with each choice you make. It doesn't mean that you're not going to come to the same 
destination. You still got the same destination. You still have the same path. But I feel like you may have taken a different path. You may have ended up becoming a parent. And so you may have did that, raise your children, whatever cases. And then you're finally going back into that career. Whatever you did, others of you guys, you could have took a different path. Maybe you wanted, wanted to travel, explore the world, do these things before you decided what you wanted to set your mind on. And you did that. But it doesn't mean you still don't have the same destination. You do. You're still going to land the same place. Like, period. And your purpose. And some of you guys, you found your purpose. Yeah, we have a setup, stability, and intuition. Listen to your intuition when it comes to some sort of stability, some sort of unstable environment. What's this about Holy Spirit? Genuine supporters, inheritance. Some of you guys could be getting an inheritance or inheriting some money. Be mindful. I don't know if you're looking for a home or something like that or you're looking for a place to stay. I would be mindful where you do these. Make sure you're doing background checks or you're looking up things when it comes to these places. Excuse me, because make sure that they're not um, con artists or something like that. Make sure you do phone calls and stuff. Don't just give people money over line or something like that. Make sure you are going in public, going in person and really filling out an application or it's, it's legit. Just make sure something is legit before you give them your money. Okay, some of you guys, you think somebody supports you or somebody really cares. If you end up living with this person or something like that, they're going to try to set you up or something to um, have access to your money or something. Yeah, it says opportunist, your child needs you. Okay, so some of y'all, this could even be your child who's an opportunist. Um, or somebody here is trying to take advantage of your child, especially if this has anything to do with your child's living arrangements or something like that. They're going to try to take advantage of you because of your child. Some of y'all, this may be somebody you got a child with, but somebody may try to take advantage of you because they know you care about your kids or you take good care of your kids or you want the best for your child. Um, they may try to say like, hey, we can help you with this, help you with that because I know your child needs it or I know you're a great parent. I know you ain't going to let your child. Somebody may try to use a child or this may be your own child who used their child or something to get money out of you or something like that. So just be mindful. Yeah, because you have a divine inheritance. Yeah, it says custody issues. Yeah, so some of y'all, there may be some issues over a child here, especially if you start getting money, you start being successful. Somebody going to have to come out of your bag or something like that. Even if you're a great parent, they want money from you. This is, this is all about money. It's nothing to do with a child. This is all about money. Somebody's going to use a child to get some money out of you or something. Yeah, it says poverty, homelessness. So some of y'all don't know if this is what you're dealing with or this is what somebody else is dealing with. They struggling, they poverty, they going through something in their life and they may try to come and ask you for money or tell you to give them something and then they're going to try to use the child as like um, a way to get it from you. And if you don't, they may try to cause custody issues or something or a fight about this. Yeah, it says know your worth, say no, don't settle. Rejects is your protection, set yourself up for greatness. This is confirmation of how to... Yeah, you got to have faith. This is confirmation to keep your faith, of course, because um, whatever this is, it may take you through some trials. It may take you through some changes. I feel like people are going to see you doing good in your life, and they're going to all have their hand out. And I'm getting if you don't give it to them, they're going to try to challenge you on every chance that they can. So this is confirmation to keep the faith, Aquarius. Yeah, because you about to get some Wheel of Fortune here. That Wheel of Fortune coming for you. Yeah, you came so far. I'm telling you, some of y'all with that changed identity, that's why you being blessed because some of y'all did a whole 360 with your life. Maybe you were in a karmic way in some sort of way. You had a lot of things that you really felt weren't good for you and you changed your life and you have became a better person and your guys are telling you you've came so far yeah no matter what keep the faith that's what i'm getting no matter what keep the faith faith came out twice which means that you guys may have a really a really huge faith or your guys are telling you to keep the faith no matter what it is no matter challenges you face because you did you came so far and that's what I'm getting. A lot of people don't want to congratulate you on all the things that you've done right. They're too busy trying to point out your flaws or point out your failures. You've came so far. Release expectations. Didn't I say that? I feel like the expectations you have on yourself is the expectations of people from your past. And I think I just spoke about this in our last reading. Where I feel like people have these high expectations on you that they wouldn't even hold themselves in that same regard. So just make sure that you release any expectations from people from your past and make sure that you're truly living for you, Aquarius. Because it says love is enough. 
giving everything won't make them happy and that's what i'm getting i feel like these people were very conditional when it came to their love for you they were only supportive when you did what they wanted them wanted you to do and when you stepped outside of that perimeter of those limitations that they put on you that is exactly when they started to turn on you or act funny like they didn't want to support you or help you they may have even caused a lot of hate or a lot of people to hate you or go up against just like that one family member or those those family members who turn everybody against you because you know, you're an outcast or like you're um, being scapegoated for all the family problems. They blame you for everything. You're the problem. You're the problem. And now you guys are realizing that love was enough from the get go. I'm getting that's what it was for you. You went after the things that you loved. If this was a relationship, you went after somebody that you love. You were in love. You fell in love. And love can be blind sometimes. And maybe they're talking about that. Like, oh, yeah, you, that was dumb. Why did you do that? And people fucking make mistakes. People fuck up. Yes. Like, it, it could have been a job, a career, a choice, a path. Maybe you love traveling. So you did what you loved. I'm getting you lived your life. That's what it is. They can't control you or tell you what to do with your life. So re release these expectations. Some of y'all release these expectations over these people. Quit trying to make them happy because your love is enough. Giving everything won't make them happy. They're still not going to be happy for you. For real. Because look at that. It fell right over there with them. Show more gratitude. They don't appreciate you. So you have to be grateful for how far you've came. You have to be grateful for the blessings that you received on this journey and for your own journey. I'm also getting as well, you have to be graceful or have mercy on yourself. Because like I said, you are human. This is a human experience and you're living your life. Do something new. I feel like that. I feel like you're outside. Of, yet forgive yourself, man. I can't make, I feel like you guys, you know. You got to forgive yourself. Some of y'all, your past is the reason why these people can't uh, see the, the new version of you or the good in you. I don't know what type of past you had. Maybe you had a rocky past, okay? And you've made a lot of changes, man. You, you've grown. You, you've turned a new leaf in your life. You've, you've tried everything in your power to show these people this new version of you. You're like, dude, I'm not that anymore. These are the type of people who would still talk about it, talk about you in a sense like, yeah, I know you, Aquarius. I know you're just going to start and stop. Or I know you're just going to do this. I know. And you're like, that's not me anymore. I've changed. But I feel like these people don't believe in change because look at them. They're stuck in the same place. There, there is no change here. They're still, that's what I'm getting. These people are still the same, but yet they're, they're talking about you. It's like, you need to change, 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 but you've done the change. They haven't changed. That's why they stuck in the past because that's where they are. Mentally, physically, emotionally, all that. They're still in the past. You've changed. So you're trying to move forward and they're still trying to keep you stuck in an old version of yourself and they keep bringing up your past or bringing up your failures or bringing up the foolish things that you've done in your life. Remember when you did this? What about it? Move on. Forgive yourself. You got to forgive yourself first because you are powerful more than you know. Don't give it away. You only give your power away when you let these people have some sort of control over you. Yeah, keep your plans private. That's what I'm getting. Some of y'all, if you got this good news, this good success, whatever, keep it from them. Anything good that you have, any changes that you make, they, they did that. They did all that was a facade. That whole. You need to change your life. That was a facade because you made the changes and, are ta and they, all they could talk about is your failures or your past. That was a facade. They were scapegoating you. And now they don't have a scapegoat. So now they're trying to pick you apart. Yeah, be careful, man. Be careful. Scapegoat energy. I would say black sheep, but it is scapegoat. You're the family's fuck up or you're the family's failure. You're the family. You're the one in the family who who is a disgrace to our name. But here you are doing something with your life. You've changed. You did a 360. You're better now. Now they're talking about, hmm, they're holding your past against you because they liked it when they could scapegoat you. Now they don't have nobody to blame. Some of y'all, you've separated yourself. You walked away from these people and they're now they're freaking talking about you behind your back, about your past because... They can't do it in your face no more. They can't beat you down no more. They can't belittle you no more. They can't do anything to say anything bad about you anymore because you're, you've changed. So you need to forgive yourself because I don't think these people look to give you any type of forgiveness. I was released expectations of trying to prove to them that you changed because I think they see it, but they, they, they turn a blind eye to it because they need a scapegoat. They need somebody to blame why they are who they are because they, it looks like they're still in the same place here but you've changed that's why i feel like this is a facade here 
feel like they just needed you to blame you because you were easy to blame because you're different. I know that my journey will have highs and lows. I am aiming for progress. Exactly. Your journey is going to have highs and lows, but you're making progress. That's why your guy said you came far. You came far. And some of y'all, that's why you need to show more gratitude because you've came a long way. <laughs> okay. I can see it in the cards you have. It says, I know that my deepest desires are the pathway towards my dreams. I am going where it feels right. Exactly. You guys are on a journey. You're going where it feels right. You're doing what feels good to you. And that just is what it is. It says, I know that every dream in my heart is waiting to bloom. I am ready to grow. Yep. I cannot make these readings up. I feel like you are growing. You are evolving. You're learning. And I feel like you were probably stuck at a certain phase in your life. And you're like, I'm ready to outgrow this phase. I'm ready to break free. <coughs> and I'm ready to grow. You're growing up. Some of y'all, you're like, it's time for me to get my life together. It's time for me to really get serious. Or maybe you've had all your fun, but now it's time for you to really take things more seriously or something. Yeah, it says, I know that everything aligns for my highest good. I am trusting the process so trust the process it's all going to align for you Aquarius your guides are saying I know that I am the only person who could bring forth the creativity that lives in my body I am magic you're a magician you're about to manifest the life of your dreams but yeah I'm so like the video if it resonate comment down below if you feel the vibe subscribe peace